Loving Light Cancer, welcome to the channel. This is going to be your weekly love reading. All right, energy healing work and lean on God and your angels for support. So you are a light worker. Wait a minute, you guys, this has gotten like out of focus here. There we go. All right, so you're, it looks like I'm talking to an energy or light healer or light worker. So you could be a star seed. You could be someone here who like has a strong spirituality or connection to your spirit guides and your ancestors or even to God, right? You could, um, some of y'all maybe heal. You could be a Reiki healer. You could be thinking about or be, feel like you're being guided towards being an energy worker or energy healing or spirit is telling you to use the energy healing uh, for your good, right? To heal any negative energy, release any stagnant energy, you know, or just heal anything, whatever it is. It says, thank you for sending me healing energy through me, to me, and through me for my own blessings and for all of those around you, um, all of those around me. Thank you for connecting me to loving and high integrity healers and teachers of energy healing and modality. So you might like be finding like a new soul tribe group here or a new group um, that is, is spiritually connected and they're into energy healing. Then we have lean on God and the angels for support. It says, dear God and angels, I give you this situation, whatever that situation is, right? Um, now and completely, I step out of the way and allow divine miracles to shine through everyone and everything involved. Okay, so if you've been feeling like you need some support here lately or some healing, it's, it's available to you and your spirit team, your spirit guides are reminding you that that energy is here for you. They are here for you. Whatever it is that you need to release and let go. There's no need for you to hold on to it and just step out of the way and allow the divine to work this out because it looks like it's going to be worked out here. There is a miracle trying to come through, so it's giving star energy. All right. So what do we have here for the collect? Let's get a financial abundance card. All right. We have abundance mindset. Yeah, abundance mindset. If you think of your abundance as something that happens in the future then it will always one day then it will always be one day away from you see feel think and speak of abundance as something you've all you already have in the present moment and that you will and that is what you will experience <laughs> can y'all see that sorry i'm having some difficulty reading today for some reason okay let's see what's on the bottom of the deck i'm being called to the bottom of the deck we have release jealousy and that was in reverse. It says jealousy is an affirmation that you don't have something and the universe manifests exactly as you affirm. Let other people's successes inspire rather than frustrate you. If they can have it, so can you. So you, this could have been like a mindset that you were in and now you're realizing like, oh my goodness, that thought process is like actually working against me and you didn't even realize you were doing it for some of y'all. So this is given an energy of like not you being jealous of what other people have per se, but it's just like where is my abundance where's my new beginning where's that new job or whatever it is you're like i've been trying to do what i can and um i've been doing the best that i can but where's mine okay so be open to receiving all right let's pull you in abundance uh and angels and ancestors cards excuse me what other message do we have here for the collective? And then we'll talk about love. Make sure you guys hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. The, I just heard march to the beat of your own drum. So that's giving me like stay in your lane, you guys. Don't worry about what other people have to say. I feel like you guys haven't been trusting your intuition here because the seer energy was in reverse. So make sure you're trusting your intuition here because there's something that has to do with your your dreams and your journey on like where it is that you want to where you want to go in life or where you're trying to attempt to get to when it comes to you being like on your path. So let's read drum here. All right. Here we go, drum. It says, journey inwards to uncover insights and information that will be important for your path. Yeah, then follow the guidance. It says, in shamanic traditions in all four corners of the world, the drum is recognized as the main tool by medicine men and women to direct their will and, med and aid mediation. A drum beat can be hypnotic and send those listening into an altered state 
um, that can allow them to journey to spiritual realms and meet their guides. When the drama appears in a reading, there's opportunity for you to dream or to be or to bring an inner vision into reality. So that's what that fear energy is for you. Also on the bottom of the deck here. So maybe connecting with um, somebody was telling me the other day, like there's a group and this may be your hometown too, like wherever you are, your location, you guys, where you can go to like a beach at sunset or something and there's like a drum circle or if you know like maybe yoga or whatever it is maybe try it or just go to youtube if you that's all you can do in the in the present moment is just go to youtube and play some sort of like drum um healing drum music or something if you can't get to a drum group okay so but the seer energy here was just about there's obviously something that your angels are trying wanting wanting you to lean on to lean on to them when it comes to support and it has something to do with your path and your purpose, but connecting through drums may help you or through this frequency may help you um, to, to, to see something that you're needing to see as it relates to your purpose or because I feel like your intuition is, or you're not seeing something or you're having to change something about trusting your intuition. So let's see what's going on in love. Let's get our light to your deck. All right. Uh-oh. I mean, sorry about that, you guys. Let me move these cards to the... All right. What do we have for the collective when it comes to love? Hmm. I just heard there was a shocking revelation here with the Hermit and the Tower energy. Virgo and Scorpio energy here. Let's see what that's about. Some sort of shocking revelation. Hmm. Could be going through some form of spiritual ascension or spiritual awakening here too. Or this is somebody having some sort of shocking revelation about you. Whoa, King of Cups energy. Could be dealing with the water sign of Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio. So this is an emotional shock. Somebody here, I feel like this person, this King of Cups, is realizing, having a, re a re revelation about you. And yeah, they are. Or you got new love coming in, Ace of Cups. <sighs> yeah. For some of you all, this is you meeting someone shockingly. But really, I feel like for most of you, and, you're, and it's unexpected. But somebody here may want to bring... Uh, healing back into a situation or balance back into a connection that you were with before so some of y'all this is somebody most of you i feel like it's somebody from the past it could be a sagittarius or a water sign or a virgo or a scorpio it's a divine connection though this person's been thinking about you quite a bit hmm. maybe this masculine is the one who's going through this spiritual ascension and having this revelation Show me more here. They're getting ready to come towards you with its chariot energy, Cancer energy. Yeah, this person's getting ready to travel towards you or charge towards you or take some form of action. Somebody wants to come out of the cold. There could have been like a shocking disruption in communication between you and this person or, or, or an unexpected pull away. Like you, this person unexpectedly pulled away from you or you unexpectedly pulled away from them. Or like a, a brief, or like a halt in communication altogether. Maybe even for some of y'all, somebody was ghosted or just left on red or you know and this person did it yeah and then there's somebody here could have been feeling blocked or guarded here somebody wants to overcome some form of block like if you have this person on block this person is trying to overcome this right or you may say no you may be like no if you come towards me i'm good i would pr prefer to just like protect my energy and protect my space this could also be somebody here wanting to stand up for themselves we'll see Show me one more card here. Ooh. That five of cups wanted to come out. Now here we go with the ten of cups. So there is happiness 
Five of Cups is on the bottom of the deck. Yeah, this is somebody from the past going through some form of hurt, some sort of pain. Due to the no communication here. What's this Hermit card about? Let's clarify these major arcana cards. Why is the Hermit here? Yeah, this person, I feel like they weren't able to make a decision. It's like there was no decision or there was no action. Every Something came to a halt here or someone was not. It was at a stalemate, you know, and I feel like this is somebody here who is a thinker. They think a lot. Show me more here about this Hermit. They've been thinking about this, yeah, Nine of Wands. This person's hurt. They're going through something. If this person didn't stand up for this connection or stand up for themselves or stand up and fight for this connection, they want to. They do want to. Show me this tower. Show me this tower. King of Swords could be dealing with an air sign here. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or the Six of Cups. This person could be your soulmate here, but this person is thinking a lot. So, either this is someone here, if it's for some of you all, if this is something new, I really strongly feel like this is something old, so I'm just going to continue to go with this storyline of you know who this person is. I mean, yes, it could be reconciliation, I mean, not reconciliation, but someone new is definitely reconciliation from the past for some, most of you. But this King of Swords, this masculine, really is thinking about you quite a bit with the Hermit, the Two of Swords, and the Six of Cups being here. Mm -hmm. Somebody's thinking about past events, past conversations that the two of you have had together. This person is really getting ready to use their wisdom. They're wising up. Yeah, they want a new beginning, the full Aries or Aquarius energy. They want a new beginning. Well, why is the chariot here? They want it, they're ready to take a risk and come towards you. Mm. Five of Swords and the Page of There's a lot of talk and gossip. Is this person this person you know what I feel in collective? I feel like this person thinks that cares about what other people think. Or they were caring about what other people are thinking. Now I feel like not so much. They're not concerned about what other people think as much as they used to. With this Five of Swords and Page of Swords being here. Like they're trying to overcome this with the Chariot being here. It looks like they're going to be able to do that. I want to clarify this. Oh yeah, look at that. Ace of Pentacles. I didn't even ask a question. This person wants to come towards you, I'm telling you. Somebody's listening to their intuition and feeling guided back towards you. Let's clarify the Seven of Wands because I want to see what this is about. Why is the Seven of Wands here? Seven of Wands. Queen of Wands. You could be an Aries, Leo, or a Sagittarius. This could be you. <laughs> you may have this person on block or this person may feel like you are rejecting them because you're protecting your energy and protecting your space. Nine of Swords. But you're having a difficult time doing that. It's hard for you. You know you have to set the boundary and do what you need to do for you. But I feel like either this is you saying, you know, some of y'all, for those of you who resonate with saying, man, I set my boundaries. I did what I had to do for me. But you're in this Nine of Swords energy. Like you're still maybe even having trouble sleeping or it's been difficult. It's been a little rough for you to be able to set these boundaries. But you're doing what you have to do. And for others of you, because you set the boundary with this person, this person is in this Nine of Swords energy. And this is them. But there goes that star energy. They really want to heal this. They're hoping. But they're like, if somebody's in their head. They're in their head. They're in their head. Eight of Swords. Yeah. This person loves you. They want this Ten of Cups with you. They feel like you are the ultimate, like, end all be all. They feel like they can have everything with you. Like, this is someone here who's thought about having a family and children with you. If, you know, for those of you who don't have children with this person, I feel like they, they see this as something that can last here. Nine of Pentacles. Somebody here is single and just was like, Nine of Wands, just kind of doing their own thing. 
you know, dating around, wasn't ready, wanted to stay single, or maybe they still wanted to continue to play the field or something here. You know, that's the energy is really giving. So let me pull some message cards for you real quick. Yeah. And let's find out more information about this. What else does the collective need to know about this situation, please? <laughs> faith. So it's like no matter how hard we have faith and retreat here. So it's like how no matter how hard you try to distance yourself from this person or, or you or whether or not you're not talking to them right now or you block them or whatever and there's been a break here, it's like when this time apart is drawing this person back in closer to you, they they can't they are they they can't take this. They really are having a difficult time being able to take this right now. This is a destined partnership. This is a destined faded connection. You and this person were meant to to meet each other at least, but you were also meant to be in a break. You were you were both meant to have time apart from each other. Yeah, vulnerability. You can be completely open with this person. Abundance. There goes that abundance card. So that's that Ace of Pentacles and a leap, leap of Faith. Yeah, I cannot make this up. Leap of Faith. Somebody here wants to take a leap of faith with you. And I feel like they're ready to be emotionally vulnerable, which makes total sense with this King of Cups being here next to this Ace of Cups and this Ten of Cups. This is definitely somebody here who wants to be vulnerable. They they weren't vulnerable in the past, you know. With this two of swords and this nine of swords, nine of wands and five of pentacles energy, it just with the five of swords they may have even played some sort of, sort of childish mind games, and they're like learning like they can't be that way, especially when you're you know in that nine of wands um energy. What else did we see at the bottom of the deck? It was the nine of wands and the nine of pentacles. This is somebody here who's like wanted to just do whatever it is they wanted to do. And now this person's like, I should have been emotionally vulnerable with my person. They want to come towards you and bring some form of stability. You know, for some of you, this person's going to want to work their way up. For some of you, this person's going to come back in and ask for commitment with you. Ace of Pentacles energy twice. Leap of faith is safe for you to make the move you're considering to make. You can be vulnerable and open with this person in Ten of Cups. I feel like this is this person. That's their how they feel. Because I feel like this is you, Queen of Wands and Seven of Wands. This is you like, no. This person could have even rejected that Ten of, Ten of Cups with you. You know, you may have wanted the Ten of Cups with this person and you were ready and emotionally vulnerable and available when you two first connected and this person rejected that for some of y'all. Give me one more card. Passion. Yeah, there's some passion. There's a lot of passion between you and this person here. Some of y'all have some new, a new opportunity of abundance or like a new job or a new pat, a new passionate project or like a new, whatever it is, you really enjoy doing it. It's going to bring you more stability and more money or, or, you know, or it could be a new job or promotion or whatever it is. It's a level up in your career. Okay. Let's see. Um, what else here? Show me more here about this connection. Hopeless. Yeah. Sinking. I'm, I'm telling you, this person is falling apart. They are in despair. That's that five of pentacles. Oh, sorry. That's that five of pentacles energy. They feel hopeless, you know, but they're still, they still have with that. We saw the star card, right? Yeah. Silence. Frozen. No word. Yeah. There's definitely not any communication. So this person is feeling hopeless because you're not talking to them or showing them any attention. And you set boundaries. This person is holding on to the last little bit of thread of hope that they have with that star card we saw earlier. They really are. Yeah, new beginnings. Look again. Look, look at this. Try again, new direction, and start over. Then we have time, waiting, cycles, moments. This person is waiting for another chance to be with you. 
Or you could be waiting for them. Show me what I'm for. Divine, yeah, this is your divine masculine that's waiting. They're like, okay, I accept this time apart. I accept these boundaries. I accept this silence. They, yeah, are the ones having this awakening. Because during this time, I feel like this person is real life. I feel like this person knew from the beginning this was a distant partnership. They did. But they were still they still wanted to be single in that Nia Wands energy. Yeah, but this person is stressed out. This divine masculine is going through some form of karma here. Hmm. This person has a lot of issues right now that they're going through during this time. Yeah, healing, but they've got some healing they need to do. They've also got some releasing they need to do. They may, for some of you all, may have to release somebody else. They may need to release some things from the past that have nothing to do with you. This person may need to cleanse their energy here. They need to be doing the work while the two of you are apart, you know. Yeah, they're still holding on to you. They are clinging on. They're spying on you. I feel like the more this person watches you collective, the more they get, uh, like, just they lose it. The more they miss you. The more they feel hopeless. The, the more they cling and hold on to you. That's this energy here. So this person's like, I can't take this anymore. I can't take this silence anymore. I can't take sitting back and watching them anymore. I can't take hearing about the collective and what they have going on or seeing it. I am ready to come out of this five of pentacles energy and rush, rush back in. This person's like having the will, finding the willpower to do that. Yeah. So now they're ready to take a leap of faith towards you. Okay, I'll just leave that here. Let me get one more card, please, for the collective. Cloudy judgment, illusions, unbalanced and distorted. Yeah, this person definitely with that hermit energy and the um, tower card. Remember we saw the hermit and the tower card came right out of the gate. That was also cloudy judgment here. But that's also this per the energy of this person realizing that's part of this ascension in them realizing and assessing. It's them coming out of realizing they had clouded judgment and coming out of these illusions. And that's why they're releasing and healing. They're realizing this is the work that they need to do now. Yeah, emotional storm, turmoil, unstable. This person's a little bit unstable right now while they're going through all this stress in their life, all the drama. For some of you, yep, and there goes the, cl the clarity. Realization. Look at this. Clarity, realization. And then apology. This says truth, intentions, honesty, epiphanies, understandings, and understanding and awakening. So yeah, this person is definitely going through some form of awakening right now, and they want to apologize and return. But they're afraid that you will avoid them, or that you they can't get through this block. They feel like for some of you all, they want to apologize to you for avoiding the the connection. And blocking you and ghosting you and pushing you away. They're realizing that it's only it's only been you. They want to be, they crave you. They're attached to you. They can't let you go. They can't stop thinking about you. This is the energy that they're in. This is what they're getting clarity on. Like they owe you collective an apology for this. For running away. For some of y'all, your person was a runner. You know, somebody could be Catholic there. And look at bottom of the deck, return. This person wants a second chance with you. They want to make amends. Free-spirited adventure. This person is like, okay, I'm ready to just take a jump off this bridge. Because all I can do is think about you, memories. Six of Cups. All I can do is think about my person. I will walk away from whatever it is I need to walk away from. I'm open to possibilities. I'm open to taking a risk with being in this in this Aries Aquarius fool energy. This is them. 
Let's explore options together. I love you. They're like, if I don't do this soon, it's going to be over. It's going to be over. For some of y'all, somebody may have to travel and pack a bag because this person here has a book bag or something. Somebody may decide to travel by train or live near railroad tracks or a train or something here. Somebody here could be going parasailing. Somebody may like to go parasailing. Hmm. This person is thinking about you and those memories are bittersweet. They think daydream about you. They fantasize about you. And they, well, I'm telling you, look at that. Reconciliation. Second chance. They're hoping and keeping the faith. There goes that star energy here with a hoping faith manifesting. They were dishonest with you and they know it. That's why they created the dis. For some of you all, this person could have lied to you about why they didn't want to be in a relationship. They could have um, lied to you about why they distanced themselves. Or maybe this was self-sabotage for some of you all. They could have lied to themselves and self-sabotaged and created the distance. You know, they need to work on that, though. So you could be dealing with an air sign, a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. You could be dealing with an Aries, a Cancer, a Pisces, or a Scorpio, a, uh, Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries. Okay, who else do we have here? You have a little bit of Earth, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. And the fact that the only Earth energy here is this Five of Pentacles definitely confirms that there is a lack of stability within this person's life right now so for some of you all like it may take this person a little while to get to you because i feel like they want to try to make their life as stable as possible before they come back towards you okay this person could be waiting for their finances or their situation to improve so that they can come towards you and take this leap of faith. Um, but that's your reading, you guys. Hit the like button. Let me know if it resonates.